This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. We continue our heart health coverage, and today we're learning more about the American Heart Association Training Center. Lisa Archer, Training Center Coordinator, is here to tell us more about it. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm great. Thanks. So first of all, tell us where this facility is located. This facility, the Training Center for A.T. Steele University, is located in the new dental building. Okay. Or also called the Interprofessional Education Building okay. on the campus of ATSU. And how long has this training center been in Kirksville? I actually don't know how long it's okay. been. It's been years. Okay, it's been so several years. years. So this isn't a new thing, but it's now in the new dental building. Exactly. So it's new location. So first of all, go ahead and tell us, uh, what do you teach in these uh, training center sessions? So a lot of people know the language best as CPR. Uh -huh. um, there's different uh, levels of courses based on the kind of need that you have for your career. Um, we do adult and child and infant CPR mm -hmm. um, for basic life support um, for healthcare providers. Mm -hmm. So those are specifically for people who are like in a hospital setting, mm -hmm. clinic setting, dental setting. Um, then we also have heart saver courses which are for more of the lay rescuer person. Mm -hmm. And so people like you, Ella, could be a heart saver um, CPR person. We teach first aid. CPR, infant child choking, um, infant child uh, CPR. The AED is an automatic um, inclusion in all of the courses. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that's pretty yeah. um, inclusive for everything. Yeah, and it's also nice that you do include this because everywhere you go in the heartland, especially in the Kirksville area and surrounding areas, there is a business or facility that has an AED. So it's just nice to know how to use it. And although it is automated and it walks you through it, it's always nice to know beforehand how exactly. to use it. So exactly. when you go into the training center, you provide all of this for your students, correct? Correct, any instructor will provide this for their students. So whether it's a class at A.T. Stone University's training center or it's an instructor that's out in the community. We have over 100 instructors in the area. Okay. Um, so they all have the equipment for you. Okay, and then let's go ahead and talk about age limit. Can anybody come in and take these CPR or heart saver classes or right. do you have to be 18 and older, 21 and older? Talk about that. We've actually toyed with that and within our own organization about if we want to set an age limit on it and we kind of feel like 10, 10 is kind of a cutoff. Mm -hmm. However, you see other younger kids who have learn something on TV or in school, um, and they are actually are the ones to jump to action when it's needed, mm -hmm. and the adults are standing around kind of like, I don't know what to do, so we're not cut putting an age limit on it. Well, that's good, and it's, you know, never too young to start. Right. So, um, when are these courses taking place? Because you have several courses that take place, so talk about mm -hmm. that. So, we have several courses um, that are already kind of pre-planned, mm -hmm. and they usually happen on a Monday. But we also have the third or fourth Saturday a month that we actually open up the training center and have people come in from the community and they can take a course then. Um, with all of the instructors that we have throughout the Heartland, mm -hmm. um, there's courses that could be going on all the time if an instructor knows of a need. So if you just would contact me, I can reach out to those instructors and and ask who's maybe offering a course that someone could jump into at any time. Perfect, and let's talk about price range. How much, mm -hmm. does, it, how much does it cost for each course? Does it depend on the level you're taking? And I know that there's prices for non-ATSU faculty members, students, correct? Right, so um, the, heart, the uh, heart saver courses mm -hmm. are usually ranging from 10 to $25. Okay. Um, again, depending on the, the features in the course mm -hmm. that you need. And then um, the more advanced courses are up to fifty to hundred dollars. All so. right. And what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlineconnection.com. We'll also uh, feature all the class times and the prices as well. Now, really quickly, uh, obviously because of February is National Heart Month, you do actually have an event coming up this weekend. So, do you want to quickly talk about that? So, Nemo Heart Health has the um, second annual Celebrity Stride for Your Heart, mm -hmm. and that's going to be held at um, Hy V. And we have a treadmill there that um, Northeast Regional Medical Center has donated to us. And um, we'll be bringing in celebrities, so people in the community that people really appreciate and connect with. And um, they're going to be on the treadmill just emphasizing the need for activity for improved heart health overall. 
And this year we've invited Troy Moling to come and be a part of that. And did he say yes? He said yes. Yay! And, so, uh, and then what you can do is also you can add additional uh, money to have them walk a little bit longer, right? That's right. All right. So longer, I'm faster, whatever. Dollar so. bills and $10 bills ready for that Troy. Got a shirt so, for him to wear. Look at he's going to be ready. He did the polar set. plunge and now he's walking right. to, to healthy heart. Well, Proud fantastic. All right, Lisa, again, we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up your information if they have any questions or concerns about the courses or about the event taking place this weekend. Okay? Sounds great. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much, Ella. And we'll be right back.